Renewable energy, what is it? According to ARENA, or also known as Australian Renewable Energy Agency, renewable energy is produced using natural resources that are constantly being replaced and never run out. In other words, renewable energy is power that we can harvest from natural resources such as wind, sun and water to generate energy to power our everyday lives. This documentary will educate you in renewable energy as well as the targets it we should be reaching. This is vital to ensure future generations can live sustainably and comfortably. Renewable energy is all around us today, whether that be on our roofs with solar panels and pool heaters or even open lands where we can take advantage of space with no buildings or obstructions with wind farms. In today's world, we can even put electricity in our everyday lives such as portable phone chargers powered by solar or with electric skateboards and bikes that generate electricity as it cruises. With our current state, we are burning fossil fuels which generate a large amount of carbon dioxide and other harmful gases. These are a major contributor to negatively impacting our environment such as global warming, climate change and even pollution in our air reducing the quality. Despite it being well developed to harness power affordably and reliably, the disadvantages heavily outweigh the advantages making renewable energy a more realistic and sustainable for years to come. As we can see in this graph are two lines. This graph is called Herbert's Peak Theory or Herbert's Curve, where fossil fuel production curve would follow a bell-shaped curve illustrated by the blue line. This shows the production and consumption slowly growing as technology and demand increase until all resources have become extracted. The red line is the actual level of oil production which follows closely to the curve. As you can see the dip towards the right side, which was during 2008, is when the GFC occurred, slowing majority of world trade. Similarly, we can see that we are running out of our finite resources, with coal having 114 years left, natural gas at 52.8 and oil at 50.7 based on statistics in 2016. Because we are slowly becoming aware of the resources left, greater action and research is being conducted to ensure we can live a sustainable future. With the Australian Renewable Energy Agency investing in new products, Australia is shifting to a new future with $1.44 billion in funding in current and future projects. Australia can deliver affordable, reliable and profitable renewable energy. Countries such as Costa Rica, Norway and Iceland virtually run on renewable energy. Not only is the government taking action, but so are private organisations for both our future and profits. There is an app called Array, which allows your investments to go into building solar farms, which can be broken up into two sectors, investment and super funds. This is an extremely smart way for people, especially younger generations, to better understand the positive impacts of renewable energy as well as being rewarded not only through long-term investment, but peace in mind that they are investing into something that is sustainable and has a future, even 50 years down the track. Overall, the transition from using coal and fossil fuels to generate power to renewable energy looks reasonable. We are able to further invest time, money, research and knowledge into renewable energy, allowing us to slowly transition to virtually 100% renewable and leaving fossil fuels behind. Once the price of renewable energy has closely matched the price of fossil fuels from an investment point of view, business, governments and private sectors will be more inclined to transition than we currently are. As shown in figure 1, as the decrease of world fossil fuels occur, the increase in renewable energy should be crossing over, benefiting all users from start to finish. I would like to recommend everyone investing in renewable energy, such as investments like RA, or if you are a homeowner, consider purchasing a solar kit not only to save money in the long run, but save the environment one house at a time.